Hello and welcome to Soul Shifts Energy Update Part 2 for October. Thank you for being here. Um, this is Part 2 um, in reference or regarding to the 30 coffins that were recently found in Luxor, Egypt. Um, there is information in the first video, um, audio video on YouTube. Natasha Soul on YouTube, and I encourage you to listen to that first, um, that first audio recording. It's exciting, exciting times um, regarding Egypt. But I, I received some information um, with this unexpected discovery that um, of these coffins in Egypt. Um, some some additional information so I wanted to expand on that anyway getting right to it um so um, the day after I made that update I was reading in the ancient secret of the flower of life a book by Dronvalo Melchizedek I hope that I'm pronouncing his name correctly but I happen to be reading about the tat brotherhood and um tat was actually those son in in um in egypt and there was a brotherhood of ascended masters that were for formed and they they would um come to egypt this was ancient egypt time um they would come into egypt and they would share knowledge, um, technology, and, and other things with um, the Egyptians whenever they felt like they were ready to receive their teachings. And um, this is why archaeologists refer to Egypt as a stair-step evolution, um, because they would they would have technology and they would have a full knowledge of technology and then it would kind of level off and then all of a sudden they would receive other um, knowledge. And so there is sort of like this step, stair step, um, stair step way of how they received or gained information and knowledge. Um, and so Going back to present day with the found findings in Egypt, um, the most recent findings of these coffins, um, the information I was given is that this is basically what is happening, is that um, these ascended masters are revealing information to to humanity right now and things this information is going to um rapidly and profoundly shift um our knowledge and um anyway it's just really exciting <laughs> um and then the other thing that i received is that um And this is this is specific to light workers. Um, and, and again, in this book, the information that I came across, um, and that book again is the ancient secret of the flower of life by Drolvan Falo Melchizedek. I'm sorry I'm, if I'm butchering his name. Um, he talks about how there are different levels, devil, different levels of human consciousness and how our bodies change um, as our chromosomes, our DNA changes with the evolution of consciousness. And that the most, one of the visual differences is between is between these types of um, in the levels of consciousness is height. And in interestingly enough, um, I had noticed in the past probably three months now um, 
there were times when I would be meditating that my, my body felt taller. Like I felt taller sometimes when I would meditate, like my body would elongate. And even as recently as, um, about a week ago, I was having a, a session, um, with my shaman and after she was finished with the session, I, I got off of the ta- got off the table and I said, you know, I feel bigger. <laughs> I feel like my body is bigger. Um, and it was a very profound, deep session. And so anyway, he's saying in his book, um, and that according to Thoth, that each level of consciousness and as the DNA, um, evolves that we get taller. And so I just wanted to bring that awareness to light workers. If you are having the sensation of, um, your body elongating or you're feeling taller, especially during meditations or after you've done, um, um, energy work, um, this is part of that evolution in consciousness and just found that really fascinating to read after I'd noticed over the past three months of this change or this feeling in my body. So I just wanted to bring that to your awareness and I will continue to make updates, um, especially with this new discovery in Egypt as I receive more and more information. Thank you all for listening, and I wish you the very best on your journey.